What is up everyone? Welcome back for another video. If you're not subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, you're awesome. Thank you. So, today's the day, I'm excited. We spoke about it in one of the other videos, the Baja Designs light bar for my ZR2 finally came. Let me start off by saying um, thank you to my friend Kenny at SMY Performance, go check them out. He helped me with this purchase. Pretty smooth, painless transaction, thanks. Go check them out. If you're new here, thanks for joining me. Um, we do have a 190E 240SX that I'm actually trying to sell right now. I'm in the process of doing it, working on a couple deals here, wheeling, dealing. Uh, we have the ZR2 over there and then the Mustang, which has been on the channel here and there. So the garage is a complete mess because part of the deal of the 240, if you buy it, is you're getting all the stock parts that I took off of it and the garage is a mess and I can't really work in here, which is perfect for this light bar because the truck doesn't fit in here anyway. My watch says it's 63 degrees and it's the middle of February. This is awesome. I'm in a t-shirt if you couldn't tell. Look at that, sick. Let's get this thing unboxed, take a look at it and then throw it up on the truck. This shouldn't be too hard to do. Came with some brackets and some wiring already. We just gotta run the stuff into the car and then we could turn them on. Well, I guess we're gonna have to wait for tonight to turn them on so we could get the full, so we could get the full effect of them. But let's throw this damn thing on. I'm hyped. As you see here, this is all the wiring, which there appears to be plenty of wiring. We'll figure out where we're gonna run this after this light bar's on. Uh, looks like looks like we got some brackets for it. I didn't really look at anything other than just taking the stuff out of the main box. Looks like we got some brackets for it. Right here. There's three brackets, as if I remember correctly from looking at one video, I think there's one for each side and then something maybe a support in the middle. We'll see when we get to that. Some instructions with some bolts. Then this thing. So this is the Baja Designs XL Linkable. This one's a seven pod. I think they have a couple different versions of them. I think they have like a six and eight and stuff like that. It might be possible to add another one if you need to or take some off, but for our truck, the seven's the one that fits. Comes with these cool covers, seven of them. Comes with the box with some other stuff. Maybe some directions. Looks like there's a plug here and a sticker. Now, if you look at these, you can see there's a different design on the lens. This one has the vertical lines the whole way through. This is only the bottom half. And then these are completely clear. Um, I do have ditch lights on my truck, which have this style. But they're amber. I have white lenses, clear lenses somewhere um, with the flat top and that bottom. I don't know the technical name for any of that stuff, but um, this this style like this lens, these are all interchangeable. I believe you could even get amber lenses if you want to switch them out. This will spread the most light, this will project it far out the most, and this is an in-between of the two. So there's one of these on each end, one of those on each end, and then three of the straight guys. Alright, I actually opened up the instructions. Here you go. So this is the style light. So these are the straight ones, which are WC, Y cornering. DC is your driving combo. And then the three middle ones are your spotlights. Usually when I'm doing a project like this with a lot of like small hardware, I try to lay everything out. So um, it's as neat as possible and you can find everything you're looking for. Grab my tools. If it's listed, what tools I need, I grab my tools and then we just start going. Most of the time I don't use instructions to be honest, but this time I'm gonna use them because it's a pretty expensive light bar and I don't wanna mess anything up on it. Let's get this thing going.
All right, so this part, actually, let me show you. It's gonna sit up here, but hopefully it's out of the way of these. Um, I feel like it will be because that bracket was for the Prince rack, but if anything, I could just do the same thing with sliding the little carriage bolt in on the back if I take it apart. So let's try to get this up. If not, then we're gonna have to move this back. Light bar's on there. I had to move the max tracks, so we're gonna have to relocate those back a little further. Um, just gotta do a bunch of adjusting, so we'll be right back. This thing's ridiculous. It's almost as if it's too adjustable. This thing's completely badass, and it's not even wired up yet. Look at this thing. Sick. Now, my only complaint with this right now is that it sits up a little too high for my liking. Just gonna leave it for a little while. We're gonna see if maybe eventually just get used to a look. If anything, we could always try to do something with the brackets to make it shorter or maybe make some like custom brackets or something but right now pretty sick now comes the fun part of running the wires awesome so this is our harness just gonna have to figure out a way to run it I'm probably gonna actually bring it back to the driver's side like right now where the plug is on the lights itself is on the passenger side it'll also get rid of some of this ridiculous wiring I think I don't know, let me see. I'm, I'm gonna clip it in, run it to the driver's side, see if there's enough slack before I zip tie it up anywhere. Then, comes with a nice relay, fused, got some uh, ground in your power, and then the switch that we're gonna have to feed in through, through the firewall somewhere. Can't say this is my greatest wiring job, but it's coming along. I don't know if you saw in the time last, but I started to feed it from the passenger side over the driver side and then down. Didn't look like it was gonna be long enough. Then we tried it on the passenger side and where the relay and power slash ground wire were ending up, it was nowhere near where it needed to be. And I didn't really feel like extending any wires today. So I was able to get it zip tied nice up along the top down the, the driver side. I got this taped in for now. Um, I do have something coming for this uh, in the mail. I think it's coming next week. Relay is kind of not in the greatest spot. Relay is like not in the greatest spot. But this wire here, we have to feed it into the car because that's our switch. And then we just got to liven it up with, with these guys over here. But saving that for last because I got to unplug the switch to send the wires through. Maybe one day we'll fix this wiring. Even the other wiring for the ditch lights, um, the stuff they sent wasn't the greatest, but I'm gonna fix all this at one. I'm gonna fix all this soon. So those ditch lights and then the uh, light bar, AKA sunlight that's on the top of the car right now is going to the front. And then eventually we're gonna get some lights for the rear uh, for when we put the rack back on. And so we could have some chase lights for um, whenever we're in like a dusty area and people need to be following. We're gonna have chase lights and I'm gonna make, I might make my own custom switch panel for this and that's when I'm gonna fix all the wiring so might look like shit right now but it's gonna be nice and neat all right. all right time to feed this wire through the firewall somewhere I think I I might be able to feed it through the same spot I have the wires for the ditch lights so we'll be back in a minute with this all wired up all right so I got my wife zip tying up the rest of the wires with the other bundle of wires from the ditch lights like I said before, it's messy right now. I know it kind of, it kind of looks shitty with the switches just hanging there like that. I know. Um, I am going to make my own switch panel or buy one. I'm not sure which route I'm going to go go with yet. That's going to happen at some point. Now, since the switch is in there, there was a grommet with the hood latch release. A little difficult to get it in there, but you could get it in with some persuasion and a helping hand. Now we just have these wires, so obviously ground, power, and we're good. All right, so obviously red to power, black to ground. Watch that relay let you uncrush it in the hood, which it should be out of the way. I mean, don't worry about that. Moment of truth, let's try them out. <gasps> 
god. So bright. Oh, don't look at it. I now possess the power of the sun. So once again, huge shout out to my friend Kenny and SMY Performance. Um, made this transaction as smooth as possible. Thank you. Go check them out. I should probably wash the truck right now. It's still 61 degrees out. I won't freeze my ass off. Um, oh, crap. I forgot I got to remount the Max Tracks. Don't think I'm going to do it long ways because... When I put the tent on the back, it'll probably interfere with the tent. So maybe we're just going to go sideways. Not sure if we're going to do front, back, middle. I don't know yet. Let me figure it out. Nice. Got perfect amount of clearance. This is it's loose, so nothing's going to hurt. I was actually able to just slide the bracket. Um, as you see, the slots, it was on both slots. So I was able to slide it back to that hole over there. So it's like kind of half on on both, but... It's also only a max track. It's not going anywhere. The whole car shake can do that. Let's go over a couple things again with uh, with this light bar because it's pretty awesome. It's very customizable and adjustable. So obviously your lights again. Um, this is the spread pattern for each. So your spotlight, your driving combo, and your wide cornering. That's the same style that I have on my ditch light, which I prefer if I went back to that one, which I might eventually. These spotlights almost look like they weren't working from when I was standing at the side of the truck to film this. So it's very um, spot. Then also each light you could um, adjust up and down and then left and right a little bit to that amount. Then also this light bar total, you can make it where you have a little bit of an arc to it either way. So if you need to project out more instead of just directly ahead um, you could do that and you could also just change out all these lenses for all different ones whatever orientation you want for different projection so like i said this is very customizable if i really wanted to i could change some of those out for amber lenses which i did once again with the ditch lights the ditch lights came with clear lenses and i changed them to the ambers um, you could do that with those up there pretty cool i'm, I'm pretty hyped about this um, like i said i wish it sat a little bit lower not the end of the world pretty hyped. I'm not sure if I'm going to run these with or without the covers. I guess let me get some shots with the covers off and with them on. And then we definitely got to wait for some nighttime shots. for me um, low effort high return this is sick I'm very hyped on it um, I'm gonna cut to some nighttime shots right now so that's just headlights those are my ditch lights now let's see light bar Wow 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 damn was that sick Obviously this is still two seconds later because I'm in the same spot, but I could just assume that that was freaking awesome. This thing's really bright. It's the, it's sunlight. I have sunlight on my truck now. Thank you. So I want to thank you guys for joining me on this one. This was a fun one. It's been a while since we did a cool mod like this on any of the cars. I'm pretty excited about that. Big payoff. Happy I got the Max Tracks to fit the way I had them. And that's it. So thanks for joining me. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Leave some comments down below. Tell me how awesome this light bar is. I make videos every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 3 p.m. Join me again. I will see you guys in the next one. Go follow Kenny and SMY. Peace. <laughs>